this interesting conversation <clears throat> just now with Rose and um, it was all about this feeling of boredom that I tend to get once in the so many times and my mom could totally agree with this like even as a child I would have that feeling and also in the book I wrote with Rose uh, the instructions to an enlightened life I have a whole chapter around this it is this feeling I can't really describe it any other way than just feeling freaking bored it's like I look around me and I'm like everything feels so mediocre everybody feels so mediocre and all the things um, that business-wise excite me are starting at the end of the month, right? So I'm like in this in-between phase, like between now and the end of November. I feel like no- end of November, that's when all the fun starts, right? Because then I'm starting with this beautiful new soul sister. I'm starting with with the mastermind. I'm like, oh my goodness. I need some excitement. And then I started writing with Rose and I started explaining to them how I actually feel. And <clears throat> we came to the point that they said, like, what is the actual problem? And I'm like, well, the actual problem is that I just feel like freaking running. But while I'm running, I'm still looking back, like behind me. And I'm trying to make people play catch up with me not catch up for mayonnaise but catch up like c-a-t-c-h right catch up and it became so clear to me that the the looking back the trying to make people play catch up with me that is the part that is actually the part that is like that is the part that is draining me so the conclusion of that whole conversation and i might post it on instagram i'm not quite sure yet is just freaking run and don't look back and it's quite a long intro for this uh, episode but i want to make that the title of this episode just freaking run and don't look back And I feel like that is what a true soul leader does, right? We run, we walk our own path, and we don't look back. I remember I read this book a couple of years ago, and I'm not, the title I can't remember, but it was a channeled book as well. I love reading channeled books. And it gave this example of this leader who was walking his divine path and then he would come across like poor people and people who were begging besides the street and he gave this example right that when you you can bend down once and like say like okay this is the way i'm going if you want you can follow me but if you keep doing that and if you keep like lowering your vibration and go to that place you get energetically drained and then you are in no position to lead at all. So in this book, he really explained like you just have to walk your path and you have to trust that when you make eye contact, you can make eye contact with the beggar on the side of the street. You can make eye contact, look the person in the eye and then just keep walking. And your energy will be so like, it will be so strong and powerful and and contagious that that person will automatically step up and start following you. And this is like such a powerful example of what a true soul leader is. We as so, true soul leaders walk our path. We are not afraid to make eye contact with people around us because we know how to stay very strong in our own energy and we freaking walk the path we walk and we do not let anybody else's energy claim us take us 
we lead. And that's what I love. Just keep freaking running and don't look back. And I feel like this is like the most, this is one of the things I feel like I learned the most about the last couple of years, how to stay strong in my energy. And I got to admit, I still have periods that I sort of got up, get off track a little bit. And then I'm like, okay, what the heck is going on here? I can feel it right away when I step out of my energy. And then the one thing I actually do at that moment is I investigate who am I surrounding myself with currently. And nine out of the 10 times, I come to the conclusion that I surround myself with people who I like, who I, yeah, who I like on like a physical 3D level, but who are energetically not a match for me. So one of the things I became very intentional about and where I became very aware of is to always ask myself the question, does this person contribute to my 100k soul leader version? And when I ask that question, I actually know right away, like immediately I know yes or no. And when it's a no, I act on that and I listen to that. And this is something I had to learn, right? Because we all tend to have this little bit of a pleasing side in our energy, right? We want to sort of like as humans, that's just like simple psychology. As humans, we want to be part of a group, right? We want to belong. We don't want to feel like we're left out. But those things do not go together. Soul leadership and really fully being part of a group that does not go together. You're either a soul leader or you're you're just like one of yeah, one of the guys and you fit in and yeah, you, you do your thing on that level. I've always been a soul leader. I've never actually really truly belonged in a social group even when I look back on my life like I have friendships but they're like not I don't have like if I look at my relatives for example they have like these groups of friends with like I don't know 20 30 people and they're like really part of that group and they love doing things with those people and I'm like Really seriously, if we if we were to get like we're already married, my husband and I, but if we would do like a proper wedding, that would mean for me personally a handful of people, because I like I really believe true soul leaders we have those we have connections we have deep connections, but there are few. It's not about like large numbers. And that's something very interesting as well. A download that I actually received about this whole new era where we're getting into. The true soul leaders, the true soul leaders will understand that it's not about the big numbers, right? So as soul leaders, we want to really step into this era where we understand that it's not per se about having 10,000 of likes on Instagram or, I don't know, 10K followers per episode on your podcast or an email list of over, I don't know, 10,000 people. For me, it's very interesting because I have had those numbers, right? I had huge listeners amounts on my podcast. I had an email list of over 8,000 people. On my former Instagram, I had over 6,000 followers. Um, On Facebook, I have over 7,000 followers. But those numbers mean nothing to me. Literally nothing. That's why it was so easy for me to start all over. It was like, I loved that. I loved getting into this new energy and just start all over. There is something so refreshing 
about starting all over. I am not attached to numbers because numbers literally don't mean anything. And I'm so much happier right now with my 255 followers on Instagram and my 2000 um, subscribers email list than I was with those large numbers. And I'm going to tell you why. It's because I now have people in my community, in my energetic field, who are actually a soul match. So I'm very intentional with who I follow on Instagram. And um, because I'm very intentional, I also call in very intentional the type of women who follow me. And the type of women that are coming into my energetic field currently are soul leaders. Each and every one of them. And they are freaking amazing. They do like big, bold, unapologetic things. They move across the country. They 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 do things. They they like they, they persevere where other people would stop. They do outrageous things. They do things that make my jaw sometimes like open up and like be like, what the F? How the heck? Like, this is freaking amazing. And that's who I surround myself with. I surround myself with other soul leaders. That's why I work with a mentor who inspires me on that level as well. And I mean, we could do a whole other episode about that. And I'm pretty sure Jenna and I will do an episode on my channel and on her channel in the near future. But it's not the right timing right now. But like the way we connected and the connection we have together, that's of a whole other level as well. This is like not your typical coach client relationship. And that's actually the way I work with my clients as well. I am not your typical coach. And the women I surround myself with are not your typical coaches. We really connect with our yeah, sisters almost like, no, not almost, like our sisters. We connect at a level that is of an all other level. It's like it is a true soul connection and you walk your path together. You become such a part of each other's lives, right? And the women I work with, they become a part of my life as well. And it was so adorable. This, I have this one client, we, our relationship uh, for now, like our working relationship stopped right now. She's from Belgium. She is such a sweetheart. And she was like, I've been following you for so long. And now we got to work together. And it was so freaking amazing. And I don't know if I already recorded something about this, but I was like, I, I shared a post on it around uh, on Instagram around why I never share reviews. And the reason why I never share reviews is because, I don't know, it's like when something feels so, like, when something feels so right, it just, there is no, there is no, desire to share it on that level I don't know how to explain it but it was the same when we got pregnant with our daughter we waited almost four months before we told a single soul and that was just like it felt so right that it was like it was a big thing but then again it wasn't right because you could feel it on such a it was such a spiritual alignment it was I don't know I don't know how to explain it I think I think you understand what I mean when something just feels so right you do not feel any need to really share it with anybody and that's what I have when it comes around my client experiences that I just feel like there is nothing to be said I just let the energetic do its work. And this is for a lot of like 
a lot of people who do not really play in this energetic field that's something sometimes hard to understand right they're like why don't you like share your results and i never see your reviews and it's like you don't have any reviews and i'm like i have them but i don't know it's just like uh, it's just like i can't share it i just cannot share it not in the way that I see other people do it. And again, that brings us with that soul leadership quality, right? Soul leaders walk their own path. And it doesn't mean that when you're a soul leader, you cannot share your testimonials. Be my freaking guest if that excites you. But a true soul leader does not do anything that doesn't feel soul aligned to her. And that's what I love so much about my work. And that's why I love working with the amazing soul sisters I get to work with. Because they understand that. They do not come to me to copy anything. They do not come to me to ask me for any advice. Like, I freaking love the women I work with. They actually never ask me the question, what should I do? They simply know but they do use my energy to take their selves to that next level. It's like they are so freaking self-led. It's just of an all other level. And then the way they use my energy and the way they are open for my energy and the way they trust me and themselves, my goodness, I have so much respect for that because the level we play at is completely different, right? It's like, it's really an open play field. And we let, seriously, we let the guides guide us and we let ourselves go to places where our mind couldn't bring us. And it's like fun and exhilarating and it's so connected to the physical reality as well, right? We don't only do the energetics and keep it that way. We really make that translation to the physical. So I love, like, I love photo shoots. I love strong branding. I love strong messaging. So that's all, all those things we incorporate in the, in the um, projects I do with my clients. But it's like, it's not the main focus. The main focus is like unlocking these doors and that brings us back where I actually even started this whole episode about, about how I was so bored, right? And I don't feel bored right now anymore by recording this episode. So I'm like, oh, hallelujah, praise the Lord. <laughs> but these women are similar. Like they don't want to do the same old boring stuff. They don't want to answer a mastermind and do boring stuff. Oh yeah, I remember like, this other beautiful client of mine, she's so amazing as well. She is um, uh, also from the Moluccan and she's like, I don't know, I just love her energy. And she was like, you like, she said like the things that you do energetically for me is like unbelievable. And it was so funny because in our time together, we never spoke about bold and unapologetic messaging. We never even looked at her branding. But at the end of our working time together, she had this complete new website, a super bold and unapologetic messaging. Like her messaging was like off. It was like, oh my goodness, this rocks, right? And then uh, her new branding look, the, the, the photo shoot she was going to plan for herself, like, Oh my freaking goodness. And I I don't know how I came in on this topic. Oh, what did she say? Oh yeah. And then she said, like, how often do we just enter masterminds or coaching programs to learn a trick? And she said, with well, you, it's not about learning a trick. It's like you unlock this immense wisdom inside of me which makes me go to places that I never felt possible. That's actually sort of my translation of what she said. And that's what I love, right? I love working with women who are like, fuck this, <laughs> fuck 
like doing what everybody else does. I want to do it my way. I want to keep running and don't look back. I just want to do amazing things. And I just know that the universe always has my back. And when I am in this mode and in this creation mode, like the sky's the freaking limit. And that's where the magic happens, right? That's where all the amazing soul line clients come from. That's where all the money comes from. That's where all the exhilarating ideas come from. That's where all the outrageous goals come from. Like I, I, I made this list with eight outrageous goals for 2023 just for the fun of it, right? And it made me realize how so many people... When they make goals, they make such boring goals, right? They say like, oh, I want to make, I don't know, 10K or 100K or I want to make, uh, I don't know. They just come up with boring goals, <laughs> which don't excite their soul at any level. You want to make, like when you make a goal, when you describe a goal, you want, you want your cells to really vibrate. You want to feel that. You literally want to feel that excitement. And as long as you don't feel that excitement, don't even bother going after that goal because you won't get there, right? You won't freaking get there. So that's absolutely something I'm going to do in this upcoming mastermind. I want to like, I really want to like let them experience what a true soul leader goal feels like. And that is like nothing you have experienced so far. So I'm so freaking excited and um, like you can totally get for my five. I cannot wait until the 29th to get started with this woman. <sighs> it is awesome. And I have another beautiful soul leader that I'm going to work with at the end of the month. But like I said, it's all at the end of the month. So I'm like, I need to like do things right now to get my energy excited because yeah i need excitement in my life but i got some ideas so <laughs> uh, and this podcast is definitely one of them so i'm gonna send you all my freaking love remember keep fucking running and don't look back you are a leader you are here to do like fun big outrageous things do it your way and just like fuck mediocre fuck doing what everybody else does fuck it just be you and become freaking unapologetic in it about it around it <laughs> oh my god this is so exciting so if this is you and the women I'm talking to, they know who I'm... T if I'm talking to you, you know it. And you're like, oh my freaking goodness, Sophie. I'm so ready for an adventure. Just freaking sign up for the Mastermind. Or for one of my one-on-one -on -one portals. You can just reach out to me. I am very approachable. <laughs> I will respond to you when you reach out to me. So just send me a message and be like, oh my goodness, Sophie... I am so ready to play and maybe you're not quite sure which portal is right for you. Maybe your mind takes you on a whole like mind fuck there. Just send me a message and say, so I want to play. Can you please tune in for me and feel what portal is the right one for me? Let's chat. Let's get this going. Jeez, November. It's it's like a whole other ball game, right? So... We'll talk soon. Freaking excited. I'm excited about this next week, this upcoming week, because I am going to do some really cool stuff. But I'm like, that's only like Tuesday. It's Saturday now. But I have planned some really cool and amazing things with our family this weekend. So this weekend I got covered. We're going to do some cool things. And Monday, oh yes, Monday I have something exciting as well because my first tooth is getting pulled ever. I am 37 and I have never had a tooth pulled. And now I'm getting that done. <laughs> so I feel, yeah, baby. Oh. <laughs> mm. Yes, 
So I'm very excited about that. So I have something exciting Monday as well. And then Tuesday I have something exciting. So yes, this is going to be an awesome weekend. It's already an awesome weekend and an awesome week. I'm freaking loving it. And um, don't remember, just keep running and don't look back. So imagine this, you, me, and five other amazing soul leaders at a beautiful high-end location surrounding ourselves with beautiful richness beautiful food beautiful energy beautiful surroundings and conversations really setting you up to make those 100k months this is for the beautiful soul leaders who are ready to scale their business who are ready to leave the beautiful platform you have been on behind and move on to the next beautiful level that is awaiting for you. This is your time.